Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you'll never miss an update. In the world of too much information, in your face advertising and fake news, how can you make a right decision? Also, how can we help our children take right decisions when they grow up? Because no matter what we think, the confusion will stay, if not grow. Today, I want to explore this topic with you and use the traditional decision-taking methods and create a process that you can use and also perhaps teach your kids. Let's get started. Hey there, welcome or welcome back. I'm Aparna, your personal coach, helping you upskill yourself to lead the life you desire. Human brain is amazing and it continues to keep our scientists and neurologists busy. But with so much of information that is available out there, our brains can go into a hyperdrive and the result is a concept called information overload. With this comes the state of confusion. And when you're confused, you could go through a range of emotions that can leave you anxious, powerless and even stressed. Nobody can give wiser advice than yourself, said Cicero. So how can you help yourself get clarity when you're in the state of confusion? Here's what you can do. Number one is to find the source. There are many untruths out there. Before making any decision, question whether everything that you've been told is factually correct. And you can do that by getting to the source of it. Who is giving that information? Also, it is very easy these days to quote a reputed organization or a research analysis and twist the message to suit their purpose. So do your bit of the research and get to the root of it. Number two, you list your alternatives. When you have so much of information, it is very easy to draw out alternatives from them. So make your list. See how each one fares. Take a bit of a time and analyze your course of action and the result that you're expecting from it. How do you feel with this result? You can also start from the results that you want and work backwards into creating those alternatives. Number three, talk it out. Sometimes listening to others' opinion can help us get a clarity. So look out for someone with the same mental makeup as you, someone with whom you share your beliefs and talk it out. You may also engage with a personal coach like me to talk it out and gain clarity. Number four, remember your priorities. Sometimes I tend to make decisions that are not in line with my priority. And when I realized that, I made the amend. I now make it a point to analyze how my decisions are impacting my priorities. So whenever you're faced with a new decision to make, always think about what's going on in your life and how this decision will affect your priority. Number five, go with the gut feel. In spite of all the research and analysis, there is no such thing as a purely logical decision. Our brain uses a combination of logic and emotion to arrive at a decision and this is called as intuition or gut feeling and we use it all the time. Our intuitions are shaped by our past experiences and our knowledge we gain from them. Although it may not be 100% accurate, the more attention you give to your intuition, the more powerful and strong it can become. So trust your gut feeling and go with it. So there you are. These are not the foolproof steps for you to gain clarity, but these can definitely give you direction to begin. Finding the source, listing your alternatives, talking it out, remembering your priorities, and going with your gut feeling. It may seem real, but confusion is nothing but an illusion. End of the day, treat it as it is. Treat confusion as a sign of growing because without the existence of confusion, there will never be a search for clarity. That's it from me. If you need more information on this topic or help in gaining clarity from your confusion, you can get in touch with me. My details are there on the screen right now and in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. If you find this video resourceful, show it to me by giving it a thumbs up and sharing with your friends. Have a wonderful time. I will see you next week. Until then, take good care of yourself. Bye.